Welcome back everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. We're going to get started in the Sculpt environment. We're going to talk just about the Edit Form Modify tool. This tool is defaulted to your top menu in the Sculpt environment. If you haven't gotten the Sculpt environment yet and you don't know how to get here, there's a video about that, but really quickly, your default should be the model environment when you open the program. It's just right here, Create Form. There's a few other ways. The other video you can see how it goes. But right now we're going to create just a simple box. You can do anything you want here, but if you follow my instructions, it should be pretty easy for you. Create a box, the same as the model environment or any other environment here. You have to select a plane for your very first creation, your very first object. I know the top on the window on the top right, this is my camera view. The top is right there, which I can kind of figure out that this is defaulted base of the whole program, the bottom, not the X or Y axis. So I'm going to select the top or the bottom. Now in this, just remember that this is not the same as the model environment. You actually don't select from the corner of the square or object and drag out from corner to corner. If I was to make an object this big, this 25 by 25, I would select the corner where the 25s meet and I drag to the other corner. And that would be the model environment. Here, you actually select from the very middle. So you have to kind of figure out, if you don't know, just you do a bit of math and you'll get it. And now I have a 25 by 25 box. Just do that again for safety here. Select my box, select my base plane, middle, drag to the corner, middle to corner. We're doing radius, not diameter. And now I have a box. It's not a squared box. It is a rounded box and there's a big reason for that. I'm going to make mine 50 tall. It doesn't really matter how big it is because we are just showing one thing today. Right here, edit form. So in the modify menu, it's the very first option. If it's not on the top, just make sure you pin it to your toolbar with this extra little three dots at the corner of the tool. And then when you select it, the edit form dialog box opens up. Do not change anything here. It should look just like this by default, unless you've done this before and you've changed it. This is the default settings with these two and this selected. So if you don't have this, fix that. Now it says T-spline entity. This is a T-spline. It is not a model. It is not something else. This is called a T-spline. It's very different than the other types of entities. So when we select a panel, I'll call these panels. You can call them cubes or um, square sides, whatever you like. I'll call them panels. You get this move option. It is not the move option. It is part of this edit form. It's the same optional directional changes you get. You get vertical, Z, you get X and Y. These are straight, only that direction. You get these flat panels, which work on two directions. So if I look at this right here, this flat panel is attached to the Z and the Y axis. I can tell Y because right there, the Y on the top right. And this one, the X axis, is this panel here. There's three panels. So you can kind of figure out where they go. I like using these quite a bit because look at this. If I drag the panel, it drags very free form. If I go back and I drag just one, it won't let me go sideways. My mouse is moving, but nothing's happening. So that's what this does. Uh, one hint. This is not guaranteed, but it's a hint. Is that the rotation? These tools don't work as well, and they actually cause trouble because if you do this, watch this, if I drag it inside itself, this is going to cause me a ton of headaches later on. Avoid making your object, the edges of it, intersect itself. Let me just show that again. There we go. Intersecting itself. Do not do that. Avoid that at all costs. Let me go back again. So that's it. Now you can also edit the edges. Same thing. You can edit points, the intersections between them. You can move them anywhere you want. You can stretch them out as far as you want. It's all made of clay. Now notice how when I stretch this, or actually let's do the panel just for visual sake, this panel will move and the edges will kind of move and stretch a bit, but the other adjacent panels will actually stretch. So if I stretch it this, this direction, you notice how everything's moving and stretching? This is a clay form, material gets pushed around. 
It tries to keep the majority of its shape, but it's very fluid in its adjustments and movements. So just watch that and you get, you get really good at predicting what's gonna happen. Now, what happens if you don't want these to move as much? You would actually add more intersection lines. And we will talk about that in the next video where I talk about these, insert edge and insert point. But right now we're just doing this. So it doesn't matter how far I move it, I hit this point and stretch it out, it will always be rounded. It is not going to be pointed. It will always be rounded and averaged between all the different panels and sections. And that's this, the, the basics of it. So what you should do is just take a couple objects, maybe make a cube, make a sphere, torus, whatever you like, and just stretch them out and see if you can make something at least. Uh, make a happy face, make a tree, something very basic, nothing complicated. Just do a very general minimalistic kind of shape just to get the hang of what's happening here. And let me just show you as an example of it, take these, I can actually hold down shift and select multiple of them and stretch them out. I can do the same thing with the edges, select multiple edges and stretch them out. So let's say I did this, take just this edge here, stretch this edge here, stretch this edge here, stretch. I'm not being very exact right now. You can be as exact as you want. And then if I take this point here and stretch up, this point here, stretch out and up, you can do whatever you want. It all moves around. I can select faces and edges and points, as many, as many, as many things as you want. And that's basically it. So I hope you have fun. This looks like a shark fin in some kind of way. And I will see you on the next video when we talk about insert edges and insert points. Thanks for watching.